Hi, this is Roger Heliobrook, and welcome to Ocean Navigator's series on boat wiring. Okay, when it comes time to terminate our wiring, we're only allowed two types of permanent termination. A ring terminal that has to fit the terminal that it goes on. It has to be the same nominal size as the screw so that we can't have a screw head hanging on a small part of this ring connector because it has to carry all the ampacity of the wire. So we have ring terminals, we have butt connectors if we have to join a wire to a wire. And they're color-coded. Red are for the smallest wires we find on board, up to 20 gauge, 22 gauge. Uh, the most common probably is our blue, and blue connectors handle 16 and 14 gauge. And as I mentioned before, 16 gauge is the minimum size wire that we use for circuits on board the boat. Yellow does 12 and 10 gauge. And one of the problems, uh, let's use it as, as an example, the bilge pump. We often find the connector to get there with our 3% voltage drop is bigger than the pigtail on the pump. So this particular butt connector has a blue stripe indicating that we could use a 14 or 16 gauge on one side and a 12 or a 10 gauge on the other. Insulated terminations come in two styles. Here are two 12 gauge butt connectors, both insulated. One is non-heat shrink, just relies upon the crimp. The other one has shrinkable insulation. Okay, the right strip length when we prepare our conductor for termination is very important. And this is something you're gonna have to gauge. You can see here one that is too short, too long, and the correct length. What we're aiming for here is to have conductor completely exposed in the barrel so that we crimp only the wire. We don't catch the insulation in the back and we do not have too much wire coming through so that it interferes with our termination. Our crimping tools are color-coded so that we can match them to our wire gauge. This is a single crimp tool with a ratchet so that we know when we've got completion of a good crimp. Again, it's color-coded. This is a double crimp tool and I have the termination in there uh, with this as a spade termination and I have it exactly parallel with the jaws. You crimp down, sometimes it needs two hands. We pull the crimp out. A good termination has a crimp on the conductor, the bare conductor in the barrel. There's also one on the insulation behind it so that we have a good grip. Every termination has a poundage it has to resist so that you can't pull apart conduct conductors and, and terminations. This is a heat shrink butt connector and for this I'm going to use a single crimp tool, only one set of jaws. We pick the blue, we're in the middle of the barrel, we crimp down till we hear the ratchet release and now we have a solid crimp that I'm able to heat shrink the back end instead of having insulation be gripped by the barrel. Heat shrink tubing requires uh, a source of heat, obviously, a flame. Uh, this is a couple of different mini torches. Uh, in a pinch you can use a butane lighter, although kind of messy. And let me demonstrate now how to heat shrink the connector. With a gentle flame, you can see this connector has already started to shrink down. 